What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know why you're here. I'm not going to be around the bush. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to do my best to keep this short and sweet as possible so you can just get in and out, get you multi-streaming. So what you're going to do is, if you do not have OBS already downloaded, you know, OBS Studio in a, a web browser, download OBS Studio, bam. You already have OBS Studio, and this is why you're here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your web browser, type in OBS Multi-Stream. Plugin. I already searched it. You can see that. And then uh, what you're going to do here is OBS Multi-RTMP Output Plugin. You're going to download it. Click Download. It's going to take you to this screen. And then so what you're going to do here is go scroll down and go to the Windows 64 installer. Click on that. It's going to open. Uh, it's going to download. And you're going to open it. Double click on it, it's gonna run you through the prompt and installing it. Okay, run through that. Uh, make sure OBS is closed when you're installing this because uh, it's gonna tell you to close OBS and you, you can skip all that. All right, once you do that, so your OBS should look like this here. You should have the multiple output dock. If it's not, you're gonna go to docs and click multiple output. Okay, so for example, if uh, your main streaming platform is Kick, that's mine. Okay. Obviously, in your settings, you're going to have your, your stream uh, server and your stream key already set up, okay? Here, you're going to go to add new target, and then you're going to type in the URL and stream key of that second location. So if it is Twitch, you type in all the information you need for Twitch, or if it's YouTube, same thing, okay? If you need to know how to get that, this is not the, this is not the, this is not the video for that. I'm just trying to show you the multi-stream. So get into that information there, okay? Um, and you share, or you just get from OBS if you want to do, um, that's what I do as far as uh, sharing um, the encoder and, and scenes and stuff like that. Make sure you click sync start with OBS because if you hit start, it's not going to start. You're going to have to do it manually. If you enable the sync, they both start together. So make sure you enable that. And there you have it. That is how you set up the multi-stream. Nothing crazy, super simple, okay? But we're not done yet. I'm here to give you some extra treats. Now, the extra treat is A-I-T-U-M vertical plugin, okay? Should be the first one. Click it, go to download, and it should take you to the atomtv.tv website, and it should automatically start downloading. There it is. You're going to open the file, click on it, and run through the installation, okay? Simple. Same thing. Make sure OBS is closed. It's going to tell you to close it out anyway, so just to skip that step, make sure OBS is closed when you're installing the vertical plugin. Now, the second piece of information you need is AITUM multi stream. I know what you're thinking. Uh, why do I have a, to download another multi-stream? Well, this multi-stream for Atom, same thing, click on it, download. It's going to take you to the atom.tv website. This page here should automatically download. There it is. Okay, same thing. Run through the installation prompt. Bam. Once you get back to your OBS, okay, you're going to have the Atom multi-stream dock here and the vertical dock. Okay, now, if you are trying to look to get to partner on YouTube or just want to stream on YouTube, vertically is the way to go. Let me explain why. When you're streaming vertically on YouTube, it drops you in the shorts feed. Now, people are always scrolling the shorts feed, okay? Your stream will pop up in there, and that means more eyes on your stream. I know a lot of people don't like watching vertically, but if you can grab and catch people's attention, they will stay. Okay. I recently just hit partner on YouTube and it is all thanks to streaming vertically on YouTube because the vertical streams, streaming on YouTube counts for watch hours and vertically streaming on YouTube counts as watch hours. So to hit partner on YouTube, you need 3,000 watch hours. And also, if you can grab people's attention and have them stay, they will definitely sub. I had a couple nights where I've had 100-plus subs. Um, so I hit my goal, um, got my watch hours, again, hit my goal. Um, so that is an absolute goaded way to stream on YouTube is vertically. 
these two plugins from Atom are absolutely insane. It's a game changing feature or plugin that's added to OBS. Okay. Now, for to do this, to stream vertically on YouTube, if you don't know how to make a YouTube uh, or if you don't know how to get your information from YouTube as far as your stream key and stuff like that, here we are. So, what you're going to do, obviously, go to your YouTube channel. Go on to the right side of your little icon. Go to YouTube Studio. On the right-hand corner, you do Create. Go Live. Then you're going to click here, Create New Stream Key. And you're going to name it what you want. Poopy. Then you're going to leave this the same, okay? Streaming Protocol, RTMP. Don't mess with that. Turn on Manual Settings. I set my resolution down to 1080p. No one's really going to watch it in 1440 or, what is that, 4K? That's absolutely insane, okay? 1080, some people are at work, don't have Wi-Fi, so crappy service, you name it, all right? So 1080p, turn on 60 FPS options, create, and there is your stream key. And then you're going to copy and paste your stream URL. And then we're going to go into the wheel cog here, into the Atom multi-stream plugin, vertical canvas, output settings. Enter your information, YouTube vertical output, and then um, your YouTube server is going to be your um, YouTube ingested server legacy um, primary. Okay, make sure it's a primary. Enter your stream key and save output. And there you have it. You are set to go as far as streaming vertically on YouTube. But you're also going to have to set up your vertical scenes and sources. Okay, so you're going to have two scenes and sources, as you can see here. I have my main scenes, okay? So these are for my uh, horizontal stream. Then you have your vertical scenes. All you got to do is just copy and paste it over. It's nothing crazy, super simple. Um, set it up the way you want. You can see over here off to the right where my head is at. You can see right here is your vertical uh, layout, horizontal, vertical, okay? And then um, same thing, you're going to have your... It'd be separate. I can, you, can do it, you can do it manually, but when I change it, uh, when I hit it on my stream deck, I have it already set up into my stream deck, and so it changes both of them. So when I'm streaming, multi, when I'm multi-streaming on Kick, vertically on YouTube, it changes both of them within stream deck. That's a whole nother ball game. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a video on how to set up a multi-action on your stream deck. Um, so yeah, so it changes uh, once I push the button, it changes both of them uh, horizontally and the vertical scenes, okay? And there you have it. Super easy, super simple. Hopefully this was not a long video, which I don't think so. Pretty much sped through it for you guys. If I've skipped anything or you feel like I left something out, please let me know down in the comments below. Pretty sure I hit all the key points. Like I said, I was just trying to get through this fast for you guys. I know long videos are super boring. I get it. All right? Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with a friend who definitely needs help on setting up a multi-stream. And as always, catch on the flip side.